Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so I've lost my voice for a while now. You know what? That's not going to deter me from making video for you guys. So today I'm going to share with you my best find of perfume back in this year, 2022. Um, I didn't buy a lot of perfume this year but relatively it's still a lot for me i know that i've accomplished a lot for 2022 i have improved myself a lot and for next year i was hoping that i'll be going on a very very low buy or no buy or at least i'll be sampling massively because i do have a lot of samples that i haven't gone through yet so i figured i might as well declutter a lot and sample a lot and be more cutthroat in my curated collection so if you're new here welcome my name is Polly now um, and I am a, um, a reviewer I guess and today I'll be talking about the perfume that I think is the best find from me myself and I want to share it with you because it is really hard to find a really good top-notch perfume a lot of these are hard to find and expensive but some of them are relatively easier to find okay so without further ado let's get started Okay, so the first one that I would like to share with you I'm gonna start with this one I love a Mecca Bee lotion-y scent and this is the Harmonious Royal Earth. This one smells so good you guys. It smells like self-care, it smells like skin care. To be honest, this one smells like a Cetaphil lotion. It smells a little bit like oily, moisturizing. It is actually an iris perfume but to me, this one smells like Cetaphil. If you like the smell of a, um, like, almost unscented lotion, almost unscented lotion, this is what it smells like. It smells a little bit like oily, watery. I don't know, it just smells like a lotion. It smells like lotion. This is really, really good. I've tried other Harmonies too. I've tried the hypnotizing fire which I love and I also tried the yin transformation that I also love but this is my pick just because um, I am not a big fan of rose and um, patchouli that one's a little bit too iffy for me and I just in general prefer a skincare scent and so that's why this is my pick this is one of the best find for 2022 Alright, so the next perfume that I really, really like um, that I found this year is this one, this beauty right here. It's um, Color Vanille from La Toussaint Perfumer. I just love this one. This one smells like a salty, like beachy vanilla perfume. This one smells a little bit perfumey. This is not a plain, simple vanilla. This is actually a salty vanilla with perfumey in the backbone. And the perfume is a little bit floral. If you've been to like a cottage next to by the beach, like those gift shop, the perfumey gift shop, it has that scent. So it's a little bit like, it has similarity with Replica Beach Walk a little bit, but this one's also salty. And vanilla I really really like it this is one of the best find and I wear this a lot during summer and where I live it's pretty hot so I, that's why I do wear that a lot too so the next one I am going to go with this one this is like the best freshy that I've tried and I don't like freshy I'm a gourmand girl I like vanilla I love lotion scent i love makeup -y scent i love lipsticky scent and this is like the best freshy and I, I features this a lot in my channel already this is well just cow i really really like it yeah this one smells like apple shampoo 
It smells like baby scalp. I just love, 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 love it. This one doesn't last a long time and you have to over spray for this one, but it's just so good. It's an easy reach. Whenever I saw a video saying that the perfume is easy reach for Freshy, it's really hard for me, but this one really make it to the, to the list. When I said easy reach, this one is definitely easy reach. You could over spray. It smells clean, it smells shampoo-y. It's just so good and it smells like, you know, baby scalp. It smells like a, a little kid. It smells like little kid hair. I love it. Yeah. Zoologist cow. Okay, so next one is this perfume. Um, I love this. I learned, I learned this earlier this year. This is Acro Awake. Oh gosh, this one smells so good. This one smells like a sweet um, artificial coffee scent with the backbone of feta fur. So it's a little bit um, fresh. It's a little bit gourmand. It's a little bit um, sweet. It's just so addictive. This one has that like a coffee scent. It also come across a little bit like lavendery with a lot of coffee in it. So yeah, think of it like a lavender scent. But instead of lavender, it's actually made of feta fur with coffee scent. This is really, really good. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Like I said, next year, I probably won't be, will not be buying um, more perfume that much because I am trying to um, kickstart other project in my life. And because of that, I wanna like put more time and money into the other project and like consume less in terms of perfume just because I have 73 perfume to me that's already a lot of perfume um, and I don't need to buy more I don't mind if I declutter more maybe I'll reduce my collection to like maybe 40 to 50 and just sample a lot and then only bring the best of the best the one that could compete so hopefully I'll be more cutthroat next year um, the next one that I really like, this is Mikulev Watch. Yeah, this one's a bubble gummy tuberose. This is very sweet. This one lasts a long time. The, this one smells like fruity bubble gum. This is like the best bubble gum scent. I've tried Belle Rebel bubble gum. I, I prefer this one a lot more. Um, yeah, and this one lasts a long time. This one reminds me of Mancera Velvet Vanilla, but Velvet Vanilla has that like greenness in the beginning and this one doesn't have that. So to me, this is like e a better version of Mancera Velvet Vanilla. Yeah, I just love Miklev watch. And the DNA is also pretty popular as well. Like if you think of um, Armani My Way, it's similar, but I think this is better. This is less synthetic this one's just better to me all right so next these are my vanilla sun i'm sure you've seen this before this is saint barth vanilla west indies this is the best find for 2022 period i wear this so much i wear this uh, with a lot of perfume i brought this this one fits in my lululemon belt bag whenever i travel i wear this this one, I could put it in like a thin sock and then just put it in any purse that I carry around. I just love, love, love this one. Um, next is Mason Mataha Escapade Gourmand. This is a sweet caramel vanilla. It's just so delicious. This one smells like ice cream, literally like creamy, creamy, creamy ice cream. Sweet, caramelly might be a little bit too sweet for some of you that loves gourmand but i love it and look how much i've used this love 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 this one and one that is similar but different is epico Fanny chanel this one also caramelly except this one has butter note this one has the butter note um that this one doesn't so this one come across a little bit like ice creamy but this one smells like butter so a little bit salty, a little bit butter. So think of you like you're eating or like you have this bowl of butter in front of you, like a real butter. And then you have vanilla perfume around you. It just smells so good. It has that butteriness. 
that I love. So this is Epico Funny Chanel. Okay, so the last one. This is another one that I love. Fired Will from Javoy. Oh gosh. This one has that ambery feel, so it's a little bit has that mimosa as well. So this is like a typical ambery vanilla. It's sweet, it's ambery, but at the same time it has that lightness from the mimosa note. So I really, really like this. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one as well. Um, last time I had video like this, somebody said, well, how come Fired Will didn't make it? I was like, well, it does, it does make it. It's just that there's so many good perfume in my collection. All right, so this is the last one. This is one of the good one. Is this from Dawkin Arome Co. I bought this myself from Black Friday sale. This is Vanilla Pearl. I love, love this one. This is actually only retail for $50 for 50 ml, so it's like a dollar per ml. And this is a parfum concentration and it lasts forever. This one, the notes are orchid, um, vanilla, and amber. To me, it smells like a soapy, like an expensive hotel, like Marriott Hotel. Actually, this does remind me of Marriott Hotel. I don't know, it smells like a Marriott Hotel toiletry but vanilla version it just smells like a soapy vanilla really 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 good yeah so don't miss out on this one this might be the most affordable perfume from this list yeah so fifty dollar for fifty million this one the only one that makes it um from my recent purchase really really good all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. I think this video is gonna be out during Christmas time, or at least the 23rd. Uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this time off with your family. Happy holiday and a Merry Christmas to you. Bye.